I am a man of many haircuts. Just a quick look through my videos and it's easy to see that I like to change it up from time to time, just usually due to general boredom. Currently my hair is growing out and while some people are very pro hair, uh, there are other people that are not too keen. To those of you out there that uh, don't really like the direction my hair is headed in, I wanted to let you know that I hear you, I hear your complaints, I just don't care. Maybe today will finally be the day that I can meet everyone's standard of beauty, because today I'm getting a makeover. A Barbie digital makeover, that is. Before I was told that they were for girls and that I had to play with G.I. Joes instead, I actually used to enjoy Barbie. More accurately, I enjoyed playing with my older sister, who had tons of Barbie dolls. She even had that big pink dream house. She also had some type of Barbie makeover software, but this isn't the same one I remember her having, I don't think. Still, this all feels a bit nostalgic for me because it's similar enough. Hi, I'm Barbie. Let's give each other a makeover. Oh man, listen to that song. This soundtrack is bumpin'. Bumping, banging, it's not bad. In fact, if you're just absolutely captivated by the game's OST, you can just pop the CD into your boombox, skip track one, and just like that, you're banging with Barbie. Eh, no, never mind. Barbie Digital Makeover is all about making over digital Barbies. Your Barbie is presented in stunning 3-ish D and at your disposal is a small variety of makeups. Using the power of point and click, just select a shade and it's time to get makeover. accessories to go with your makeover. When you're done prettying up Barbie's face, it's time to accessorize with necklaces, earrings, and temporary tattoos. You can even change Barbie's hair. There are five haircuts to choose from, and you can customize the color, length, and even add highlights. Looking good, Barbie. It's time to show off your new style on the red carpet. At your wedding. Standing in a field, supporting the team on a beach, at grandma's, and in hell. You can also put your picture on things like albums or magazine covers. All right, that first one went pretty well, and now that I know the basics, who's next? If you're unhappy with the colors of makeup provided to you, just take a stroll over to the Makeup Factory, where you can combine various ingredients together to create your own shades. If you've ever had the desire to rub a combination of flowers, lollipops, and Slurpee on your face, then boy do I have good news for you. It's the first in my new line of makeups. I call this specific shade, uh, green. Paint about a Making over these virtual Barbies is fun and all, but the fun doesn't stop there. I promised you guys I would get a makeover, so let's get started. Simply take a photo of yourself, put that photo on your computer, drop it in the game's folder, and your makeover has begun. Adjust your photo to prepare it for a makeover. The face editor works, uh, kind of. It has some good ideas, but it could have used a few more good ideas. Centering your face in the circle would be easier if you could nudge around your photo pixel by pixel instead of jumping it around. It's tough to get it just right. 
Getting to choose different head shapes is a nice touch, though. You also have to line up where your lips are, and you can adjust the size by stretching and squashing. Same goes for the eyes, though they really should have given you options for how far apart your eyes are. That seems pretty important. Then you just select your skin color and pick your hair color, and it's time for your makeover. Check me out, I'm in Hawaii with Barbie sporting my new look. Don't be jealous. I'm actually having more fun with this than I thought I would. I mean, why stop here? Just grab a picture of a friend from the internet and the possibilities are endless. Okay, endless isn't really the right word. In fact, when it comes to the makeup, I wish there were more options, honestly. More makeups or styles, I'd love to give myself a more in-depth makeover, but it's still pretty fun. It's incredibly simple and limited, while at the same time completely insane. And that's 1999's Barbie Digital Makeover, a solid option for those of you looking for digital Barbies to make over. I feel like there are probably some better digital makeover options out there for you these days, but hey, where else are you gonna hear these jammin' tunes? 